I came here on behalf of uh, our former Minister of Health, Dr. Chen Zhu, who is a good friend of the French people, um, try to discuss about the um, vaccine access for the world. So I'll be in the panel discussing later today. Uh, and also, uh, we, I come here, want to learn uh, this series of a bi-vision uh, meeting. So obviously, I can't see uh, the Leon people, the French people, so importantly, they try to do some leadership and uh, to have their vision for the development of the biological, biomedical, medical sciences to serve the people, to create for the innovation, for the pharmaceuticals and uh, for some and uh, for a better life. So this is why I'm here. In this meeting, in the panel discussion this afternoon, what I raised, uh, I have three questions to raise in the panel discussion. First, we ought to work hard to make sure the vaccine can be accessed by everybody, including the young, especially the young. Because you can you imagine, in some of the developing countries, people still resist to use the vaccine. Even, I guess you might still remember vividly, remember some stories you even in some developed countries, once you have some side effect of the vaccination and people start to resist, to uh, suspect we might have some problem with the vaccine. So first, to make sure everybody who need the vaccine can access the vaccine. That's very, very important. And uh, secondly, uh, in my opinion, in the developing country, we need a sort of uh, modern or innovative technique for the uh, frozen system, not go anywhere in the world. You have a cool system, a, a accessible cool system. You might have a good cool system, but you not, might need a very complicated uh, device. If you would need a complicated device, it might not be accessible for the, some rural areas in the developing countries. So that's very important. I'm calling for some developed countries to help to develop some novel uh, method to, for the code system. And uh, thirdly, in my opinion, because we encountered a problem last year in China, because there are some uh, cases with the side effect of the hepatitis B vaccine. So then people start to um, uh, suspect there might be some problem with the vaccine. So communications, or we call it risk communication with the ordinary people, with the public, is very, very important. So we need the media to be deeply involved for the innovation, for the new technique, for the vaccination program. And we need the uh, media to be involved, to invite expert, experts in the world to explain why we need the vaccination program, why we need the vaccine, even you know, give something about the history, how vaccination and vaccine have helped the human beings to survive the world. So I think that's very important. Th those are the three questions I'm going to raise for the panel discussion. As a researcher, so maybe, you know, because when you see a, a scientist in Chinese, it's a, you know, very top guys. So, but uh, as a researcher, so you must be involved in a lot of stuff, including, you know, you, you want to communicate with your colleagues all over the world. So this is, I think, the part of our, as a scientist, part of our work, our job, to share our opinions, share our data, and share our results you know, with any scientist from all over the world, including, of course, Lyon scientists and Lyon people. Thank you. Merci.